Hello gardening friends, I'm John Dromgoul. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about nematodes today. There are many reasons that parasitic nematodes are beneficial. A wide host range, fleas, fire ants, flies, the plump curculio, cutworms. I mean, these guys are the ones that you encounter in the garden sometimes. You know, when they attack them, they can kill their uh, host within 48 hours. And they can also stay viable for months when stored at proper temperature. No natural or acquired immunity to their bacteria. And so they're not harmful to people, pets, earthworms, beneficial insects. And um, so the way the nematodes make their way to the um, different grubs that they might find in there is they um, find tar carbon dioxide in the soil or there are temperature changes. And so uh, this is a real good way to uh, find them in the soil. So, um, so they're easy to use. They're very effective. They control I mentioned a few. There are many, many grubs that are in the soil that can uh, do a lot of damage in the garden or in the landscape or in the lawn. For example, um, at chiggers too. Out in those special areas that these are a problem, you can spray them out there too. You know, they need to be sprayed in the evening or early in the morning because the sun can destroy them. So doing it late in the day is very important. The other thing is they need to be watered in. Water is an important part of the success of using these nematodes. And um, so this might take a place over two weeks. It's not as if you had to water every day, depending on what the soil moisture level is. But I think that's essential. So out of the sun and some nice water for them, and they will get into the ground. And they uh, attack the grubs. Within 48 hours, I mentioned that, um, they will have killed these grubs. And they make their way into the grub uh, through the anus, through the mouth parts, or actually through the spiracles. And some of the ones that are soft-bodied, they go right through the body also. There are other types of nematodes out there that you may have heard of, and uh, these nematodes are the kind that attack plants. Well, these aren't that kind. These are different. It's not the one that does damage. It's easy to use. They come in containers like this, and uh, there's a medium in there that uh, helps keep them in the jar and keeps them nice and fresh with a little bit of moisture. And so this is a, how they come to you. The other thing is, now you'll take them and put them in water and release them into the water medium. And then at that point, you'll put them in your sprayer by going through this filter. That way no medium is going in there, just the nematodes. And then you can spray it out there. I think that this is uh, something to think about when you begin to have insect problems in the yard that are coming from the soil. There are many of them. And so um, this is a nice advancement. Um, if you've never tried this, you'll find that this is an effective way to stop some of those problems, especially for those of you who grow uh, fruit like peaches. The plum curculio does a lot of damage. And this is the way to do that without toxins. I mean, this is very different than putting uh, insecticides into the soil. So I think you'll have very good success with problems in your garden when you use these beneficial nematodes. I'm John Dromgoul. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.